Hello, welcome to Ifi Live. I'm Ifi Onyebule. Today we're talking about fake news. Everywhere you look, fake news, fake news, fake news. And the latest is the one that has to do with the Vice President, Yemi Oshibajo. It's about a story titled 90 billion naira, the FIRS election fund. Oshibajo's problem, not the 2023 politics. And it's something uh, credited to Timmy Frank. Uh, Vanguard carried that story, and Timmy Frank is actually a former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressive Congress. He accused Oshibajo of mismanaging some funds. And you ask the question, did the paper get to investigate that story before going to town with it? Probably not. Well, Lizzie Anaba, the Vanguard editor, uh, said in a statement that the newspaper had discovered that that story was uh, fake, kind of. It lacked factual substance and they came out to apologize. They wrote something and they, they, they issued a statement and they apologized. Now, we truly need to stop in our tracks and actually ask ourselves the question, why it is that we go ahead to publish or put out stories about people when we know that those things are not true? It is wrong. We need to look at it again and understand why we shouldn't do that. Now, webwise.ie says, when it comes to evaluating content online, there are various types of fake news. And it only takes the discerning to understand which one it is. But whatever it is, as long as it's not true, just understand that it is fake. There is a clickbait. What this is, is uh, you have stories that are deliberately fabricated you know, to drive traffic to a particular website. And you see a lot of that these days. Then you talk about the satire and the parody. This one uh, is for websites and social media accounts. They publish fake stories. These are accounts that are open with pictures of people who don't even know that these accounts exist. And they use it, you know, to talk about things that shouldn't be or things that people shouldn't hear. And people get to believe it because they see the pictures of this person. You talk about sloppy journalism. Sometimes reporters and journalists they publish stories without reliable facts and figures. And people get to believe it because they trust in that particular journalist or that personality. So these things happen. So you can spot fake news by checking the source of your story. You check the website. You check the person who wrote the story. You check and check and check again to know whether there's something that is actually sticking out. Check the entire article. Many fake news stories are sensational or shocking headlines. They have shocking headlines to grab your attention. You don't want to be found you know, in that circle. Some sites can actually help you determine if the story you are listening to or reading actually uh, is actually fake or the ones that you want to share, whether it is fake. So you go to Cross Check Nigeria, Africa Check, and on Google, just do the reverse image search. It tells you exactly why something is the way it is or what has happened to it. Don't be part of the problem. What you can do is be the solution to that problem. And if you are not part of the problem by spreading fake news, what you can do is be the solution. You debunk it, you, you delete it if it comes to you. Try as much as you can not to click that share button when it happens. That's it uh, today on If You Live. We're back again tomorrow. Be sure to get on our website, get there on the menu If You Live, and you'd uh, get to see all of our other videos. It's on www.thedailyreport.ng. Thanks for watching.